Welcome to Haxby Shed. This is my Harrison 140 lathe. I had a problem with the lead screw reverser. This is the reverser. It's in the neutral position now. If I turn it to the right, it moves freely. If I turned it to the left, the problem was it was extremely hard to turn and I had to keep pressure on it all the time to get it to move. After a bit of thought I realised I'd got a problem with hydraulic locking. It didn't feel like a mechanical jam. As long as I kept the pressure on from this neutral position, slowly, slowly, slowly it would turn until it went into position. So that was my theory of what the problem was. I need to go and figure out if that was the case and what to do about it. Another clue to a hydraulic locking problem was when I turned the red knob anti-clockwise under pressure against the resistance, oil would come out of the hole directly above. The hole contains the spring and the ball bearing, which indexes the reverser shaft. My first step was to reach for the lathe manual and the exploded diagram to understand how the reverser shaft mechanism operates. Circled in green on the diagram, you can see the selector on the right, the selector operating shaft circled in the centre, and then on the left, there's a large blind bush which the selector shaft moves in and out of. We can see that blind bush when we open the gear cover on the lathe and its relationship with the operating knob. The next step is to drain the gearbox oil. A nice bit of REM in the background on the radio. Now we can take off the gearbox cover. And at the bottom left we can see the selector and the reverser gear. This is the operating shaft removed. Here I've removed the blind end bush and we can see the reverser shaft sticking out. So if my hydraulic locking theory was correct, it looked like oil was getting into the bush and stopping the selector shaft from moving across. Whilst I had a good theory, I really had to question myself if it could be correct. The lathe is over 40 years old. Surely the designers would have dealt with this. The oil level was correct. The oil type was correct. If this was indeed the case, hydraulic locking, it must have been splash fed. Anyway, this is the best theory I had. So I needed to find a way to allow the oil in the bush to flow back past the selector shaft into the gearbox so that pressure was not built up. My first idea was to make a flat along the length of the selector shaft. But removing the selector shaft to do that would be quite difficult. So I needed to find a different solution. My second idea had more promise, and that was to machine a relief channel in the bush and then drill a hole through the casting which connected with that channel, as shown here ringed in green. You can see the relief hole emerging in the gearbox, ringed here again in green. At this point I put everything back together, but I wanted to check the breathers were clear on the lid of the gearbox and I fitted a magnet to the oil plug to pick up any bits of metal which might be floating about in the oil. Since the modification, the reverser has worked perfectly and smoothly, so that did the trick. Thank you for watching Hacksby Shed.